Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I've got Phil with me here today. Hi everybody. And uh, and we're we're boatless today, eh Phil? Yeah, we are. We're Antonio. We are Antonio and we are doing something a little bit different today. We are going to be fishing for bait. The bait we're fishing for today are suckers. And uh, we want these suckers because we're going to be going for channel cats a little later. And we want to use that fresh sucker bait as a, as a bait for channel cats. Eh, Phil? Sucker is a good bait, yeah. It's a great bait to use for channels. And you know what? It, they're a lot of fun to catch as well. Suckers are readily available. They are strong. They're fun to catch. And at the same time, we're catching some bait for some channel cat. And we have the same rigs, eh, Phil? Yep, just hook, line, and sinker with the little T-turn swivel there. And we're using a gob of worms. A gob of worms, the little worms. We've got those little uh, manure pile worms yeah. that we're running. And uh, your setup's the same as mine. The hook line is actually longer than the sinker line yeah. uh, because we want to make sure that our baits are resting right on the bottom. And when you use the T-turns, the hook gets tied off the T part of the T-turn. That's where you want to tie the hook, off the T part and uh, that'll keep your line totally tangle free. And the system today is very simple. We're just gonna toss it out there, put our lines down and wait for a bite. It's similar to, uh, to fishing for, for carp or catfish. You're not moving your bait, you're not moving your line. You're basically just s setting it out there, sitting and waiting. And you know, when you're using worms, I mean, we're targeting suckers but when you're using worms, you could catch anything. So we have no idea what other fish uh, are going to bite today, but we're hoping to get into some suckers. Okay, so my line is all set up. I've got my line actually nice and tight because the suckers give a very, very subtle bite. You have to really pay attention to the rod tip to see when they're biting. Otherwise, they'll clean that hook uh, bare. They'll take that worm right off the hook and, uh, and you won't detect a thing. So my line is nice and snug. I'm set up here nicely and uh, now it's just a, a, a waiting game. There's something evil. <laughs> you think you got a sucker? It's either a sucker or a huge goby. It looks like... Oh no, it's a white sucker. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Here That's we go. We after. got our bait. Yeah. Hey? Yep. Nice. That's what we're after. We got, got a landing net. <laughs> we got some bait. That's actually called a red horse sucker. That's a red horse? Yeah, you see how his tail's red? That's oh. my guess, anyway. Hey, <laughs> nice. How was the bite, Phil? Very, very subtle. Very subtle. Very, very hard to detect, actually. Yeah. Well, again, what they do is they like to, they just go on the bottom. They got that, see that sucker kind of mouth on yeah. them? Just like a, like a carp, eh? Yeah. And they just like to go in and they just feed a little bit, nibble a bit, and you got to just set the hook on them. Perfect for bait right there. Yeah, that's a nice... Bait size. Yeah. Fishing for bait, folks. That's what we're doing. That's a nice start, Phil. Yeah. Great. Nice. <laughs> that was a subtle bite. He's been biting and stopping and biting and stopping. Finally, I ended up hooking into him. It feels like a sucker. He's just kind of swimming along the shoreline here. Yep, Phil, we got another sucker. Oh, beauty. Yes, sir. We got ourselves another red horse sucker. Nice. There we go, right there. Oh, 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 almost lost him. <laughs> he just came. <laughs> we got one muddy red horse sucker right there. This is about the average size. They do get a little bit bigger, but this is about the average size. And these suckers, they have a real, real small mouth. You see the mouth on them there? This one's a little muddy, but uh, you can see how small the mouth is. And that's why what I'm using today, folks, for these, uh, for these suckers, for these red horse suckers, is a small size 8 long shanked hook and uh, the reason I like the small hook is because they've got that small mouth got that little mouth on them and you need a little hook for them just to take it um, and that way you can set the hook. If it's too big uh, this is the one time you don't want a big hook so I'm gonna get him in the cooler and uh, this is actually called the short head red horse sucker they got a real real short stout head to them funny kind of name but these make a fantastic bait for channel catfish. Um, we don't have very many options here in, in Ontario for uh, catfish bait. Common Shiner is a great one. 
but uh, the Red Horse Sucker or Sucker is, a, is an approved bait and it is a really, really good one for channel catfish, so I'm glad we're getting into these suckers today. Okay, I'm baited back up. Phil, looks like you're baiting up too. Yep. And I get my line back out there. And when it comes to these suckers, the bait I'm using, we're using these little tiny worms, but uh, you could use uh, night crawlers if you want, but uh, you don't need much. All you need is a small worm. And what I like to do is with these little worms, because they're so small, I like to put them and roll them up into a little ball on your hook. Just let them sit in the base of the hook as a little ball on the catfish. That's a nice bite size for the ca or sorry for the suckers to come and suck that bait in. So nice little uh, nice little ball of worms. And like I say, if you're using a night crawler or dew worm, all you need is maybe a quarter of one and just put it on the on the bottom of your hook. That's that's really all you need. And the area we're fishing here has got a bit of current. Uh, suckers are not really a type of fish that likes stale water. So typically found in more rivers and streams and or if there's a dam with some running water but look for some running water and uh, typically that's where the uh, where the suckers uh, are, are holding so we got a couple in the box already that's actually a lot of bait already those two suckers that's a lot of bait but we're gonna catch some for the freezer as well uh, so that we'll have it uh, when we go catfish fishing so so we're gonna keep, this is a beautiful day, we're gonna keep fishing out here and hopefully get into a couple more fish. Yeah, just little ticks, Phil. Tick, just oh, yeah. tick, 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 tick. Small, small tick, tick and stop, tick, tick and stop. Still biting, just tick and then stop. That's all he's giving me, it's just a, just a very little subtle bite and then a stop. Oh, there we go, I did not miss my opportunity. Wow, that's he awesome. came back, Phil. <laughs> that's great. I've been nursing that bite now for a bit. This is a lot of fun. They're not big. All you need is light gear. I'm go. using a medium, eh, Phil? Medium action rod. That's awesome. You don't need light gear. We could have went with the. Uh, oh. Very nice. We could have went with light action if we wanted. No landing net today. Okay, red horse sucker. You can see the red on the fins there. That's an easy way to tell. And the other thing with these long shanked hooks, very easy to hold <coughs> and to come out. So that's why I like using a longer shanked hook uh, for these suckers. And again, just that small, small mouth. Their their mouth is a little bit rubbery actually. It's like a like a rubbery. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, it's just kind of like a rubbery rubbery kind of mouth that they have, but very, very, very small, as you can see there. There we go, Evo. <laughs> yeah, another hit, another hit, another fish. Yeah, I, actually, I wasn't even sure if he was biting or not. Oh, yeah? I basically Re pulled on my imagination. <laughs> but it turned out to be a fish. You got him? I got him. It's those subtle, wow. subtle, subtle bites. Wow. Hey, you pulled. Start, he's starting to wake up now. <laughs> Let's take a look at him. Yeah. That's a decent fish. Well, you know, you mentioned you pulled on imagination. I did. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but it's all about detecting a bite. And uh, there are a couple of things we are doing with this bite detection. Uh, the one thing, one thing I'm doing, casting the line, both of us are casting our lines just off to the side a bit, and that way the rod is pointing this way, the line's off, off to the side about in a 45 degree angle, and that makes for great bite detection. Yeah. Now, if you're casting straight out, you could still do the same thing. Just turn the rod off to the side, and you'll still have that little bit of an angle that helps you detect the bite. And, of course, the other thing is we're running the new Thunder Braid braided line, and that with that braided line, you can see absolutely everything. I mean, if we were spooled up with monofilament, forget it. You wouldn't have noticed anything. You need to have that subtle detection. So, yeah. And, of course, we do have uh, fluorocarbon leaders that we're running. Oh, well, yeah. you got to have that. you got to have that. But you know what, I think we've got ourselves enough fish. We don't want to catch too many. Uh, we're going to put some in the freezer, but we like to keep our, our uh, bait fresh when it comes to catfishing. But you know what, this was a great day, to, a great way to spend an hour, hour and a half of yep. fishing. Hey, enjoy a little bit of time on the water. Catch some fish that we're going to use to catch other fish. How can you go wrong? It's great, yeah. you got to love it. Great morning. Well, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Over, I tell you. Oh, look at the size of this fish. See if I can lip lock him. There you go. I got him with a lip lock. Oh, <laughs> <please>. <laughs>